coming to you from the Deep South. This is the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast. High impact leadership is not reserved for leaders, and it has nothing to do with your position, title, or rank. However, it does have everything to do with your character. It's time to climb to the next level and beyond, personally and professionally. Now, let's start making it happen with your host, Max Story. Hello and welcome to another episode of Real People Getting Real Results. I, I love doing this show because I get to share people who are getting real results with, with all of you. So thanks for listening. If you're listening on the podcast to the audio and a reminder again, the, the primary channel this goes out is, is on our Blue Collar Leadership YouTube channel as a video. And there'll be some things on the video you might not see if you're just listening. But either way, I appreciate you listening. So today or watching. Today I got Brandon Cluthy from Grand Island, Nebraska. So welcome to the show, Brandon. Thank you, Mr. Mack. And it's awesome to have you on here. It's just, I don't know why I didn't start doing this series sooner. Just It just hit us this year, you know, f- part of growth. And it's like earlier this year, we decided, man, we need to introduce these people and let them help us help other people because everybody we sh- have on here, you guys have a story that inspires different people, right? Have you seen some of these shows? I have, I have. And it, it's good to see every, every every one of them. I haven't watched every single episode, but um, it's good watching them because it's, it's good to see where people come from. You know, they come from the bottom of the trenches or they start at the top and they just stay with this content. So it's it's, it's good to see. Yep. So you got a cool and unique story. You you remember, I always ask people if you remember how we know each other, because I want folks to know, I know I know you some kind of way. From, sure. We talk fairly often, but you remember how that got started or when? Yeah, it's it's actually, it's kind of a funny story for me because I, I <laughs> Uh, about a year ago in August is kind of when I started picking up the leadership content. And um, I actually hopped out to go do some yard work one day and went to um, research some podcast on safety to just try and get our safety meetings are always a little bit stagnant and nobody does a lot of conversing and everything else. So I was trying to find something to get us going a little bit. And um, I stumbled upon blue collar leadership on podcast and um, started listening to that. That and I actually listened to about four hours of content that day. Wow. And in one episode, one episode, you had made the comment, you, you know, here's my phone number. Give me a call. And I kind of said, you know, this guy, he's kind of blowing some smoke. There's no way he's going to answer anybody that calls him. <laughs> and I saved your number and I called you the next day. And lo and behold, you answered. And we had, I don't know, probably a 20 minute conversation that first day. And, you know, I kind of told you kind of what I was looking to do. And, you know, we stayed in contact from then on. So it's been good. And I've read a lot of your guys' books, yours and Rhea's both, and it's good. Yeah, man, that's outstanding. So tell me about your, your, your background and your growth journey, whatever, whatever you want to share personally or professionally, just how, where you, where you come from, where you going kind of thing. Sure. Um, you know, I, 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 like I said, about August, 2023 is kind of when I started. Um, I like your guys' content cause it's a short three chapter, three page, you know, books, three page, 30 chapter books. I'm sorry. And um, most of them are. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's what I love about it. You know, it's, it's good content. It's short, sweet. It's to the point and um, kind of started get, got myself in a rhythm to wake up early every morning and dedicate some reading time to myself and started that and do that daily. And um, probably October of last year, I think is when I approached our um, city administrator here and um and you work with the city for the city yep bought her a book and um kind of got a hold of her and you know said here's here's what i'm looking at doing and i bought our director one in the department i'm in you know i bought him a book and actually one of our hr people i bought them a book and i just kind of started buying books for people and said this is what i want to do and shortly thereafter we started a book study weekly we do one one um, chapter a week and um, I cover three different classes a week doing that. Um, we got through the first book, which I picked up. Um, first one I read was 30 habits or 30 traits of a high impact team player. Yep. And so that's the one I started with. Um, I think we just got through that one. I'm actually going to go with leading from the front lines next. Okay. And um, hindsight 2020, I probably should have started with leading from the front lines because that's more personal but you know, the one that stuck with me was the 30 traits and that's yeah. what I wanted to sell everybody on first. So. Yep. And that's, and that's, that's a good one to introduce. That's a good one to introduce people on because it doesn't, 
it doesn't take you straight to work in the mirror quite as hard as the front line. Right. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? You get eased into it and then then you really start hitting the looking in the mirror portion after that. So yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, the bit the most important thing when somebody like you is introducing content is introduce whatever you're passionate about, right? And yeah. you were passionate about that and take it and run with it. Because there's there's always a different order could work better for some people and other people. And I Definitely. mean there's a generic order, but the main order is whatever somebody's interested in, whoever that is, who's going to lead the book study and facilitate it. And let me just share right here while we're talking about that for anybody watching or listening that, that they can, we got a 45 minute video now. I don't even know if you, you know that. I can't remember if I shared that with you or not. I, no, I, we talked about it and I, I honestly, I haven't went out and looked yet. I need to get okay. out there and look, but I haven't done that yet. So for the listeners, uh, it's bluecollarleadership.com forward slash book study training. You can, see some testimonials from folks. And then also there's a 45 minute, uh, there's a button to a 45 minute video training of Rhea and I talking about how to facilitate a high impact book study. But Brandon's a pro on it now. He's been carrying it up. <laughs> but let, let's go back and talk about, you said a lot of different things right there. So let me, let me just make sure I'm clear. And also, so the audience will be clear. A, a year ago is your first introduction to personal growth and development, or that's yep. just when you discovered my stuff? No, no, I, I, you know, I got out of high school and said, I don't need to read anymore. And when was that? Uh, 2000, graduated in 2000. 2000. So I've been out 24 years and I thought, you know what? I don't need to read books. That's, you know, it, it's gotta be good content for me to pick a book up and read it. And, you know, I, and, and I think that's why I was pulled in by your guys' content. Cause it's short and sweet. It's, it's easy to read. It's easy to go with. Now I've, I've tried to introduce myself to some other stuff. <laughs> Um, James Clear's Atomic Habits. I, I started on that. Um, Stephen R. Covey's, that one, I started it and I had to stop it because that's a bit much for me at the moment. But I warned you, that stuff make your head yeah. hurt, man. Those big, thick books and go yep. deep into the philosophical hard words. You got to get right. a dictionary or look up on your phone these days. You know, what's this word mean and all yep. that stuff. You, you know no. what I mean now. You yeah, heard yeah. on the podcast say Definitely. that, right? It make yeah. your head hurt. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. But no, I... You know, and that's this is the first, you know, roughly a year ago is my first dive, deep dive into leadership content. And, you know, it's good stuff. It, it, it's good reflection in the mirror. It's good. Take it to your team and let your team hear it all. And you guys can learn to be on the same page and they can grow and get better. And, you know, it helps team synergy down the line and everything. So it, it's good stuff. And what kind of work do you do for the folks who don't know you? I, I kind of know a little bit about what you used to do, but not literally. I don't know myself yeah. exactly what you used to do during so, those 24 years, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually started off um, after graduation. I was going to go to electrical technology to um, a small school about an hour from home and started working with a company and started making some money. And, you know, that's when you see the money at 18, that's kind of, that kind of makes your priorities change a little bit. And um, I was lucky enough that employer sent me through some schooling through the employer. So I never went to a college. Okay. And um, got a certificate. The Department of Labor recognizes it as a diploma. So that's a good thing. But we, um, after that, I was up there for about five years and I moved back and in the electrical field for roughly 10 as far as the digging underground electrical work goes. You were doing and, the work. Yeah, yeah. In the trenches okay. and everything else. Yep. Yeah. And then um 2010, I started a job with the municip with the city here, the municipality. And we did underground high voltage work and you know, still digging in the trenches and everything else. And roughly six months ago, I took a job as our safety coordinator. For the city? So or just for the electrical uh, division. Yeah, for the city. Yep. Yep. Nope. Still for the city. So it's it is still the electrical division, but it's it's our utilities department here. Okay. And um, so now it's it's more office work, which is okay the older I get. But it make um, your head hurt too, won't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, I told you earlier it's more mental these days than it is physical. So that's yep. you know, that, that's that's kind of the journey I've been on and um, loving every minute of it. You know, there's a lot of good people here. Um, the book studies we do here, they you know, we have some good participation in those and um, the, the, I think the best part that I've gotten in on thus far through you guys is, you know, Jason Denham's, um, uh, monthly leadership drip, you know, that's, that's been great stuff. You know, I was just on there last Saturday and, yep. you know, that's, that's good stuff. So I'm, I'm glad he opens that up to everybody. And, and, and that's my final goal here 
is to try and get a a leadership drip type thing like that rolling here. That'll be awesome, man. So yeah, if you can do that and if you're willing to to, to make that happen and you can get some families like you see on Jason's call, right? Yeah. He's got teenagers in the room, got yep. Spouses in the room, sometimes yep. his relatives, aunts and uncles, or brothers and sisters, or you don't ever know who's going to be in there with him. But he yeah. encourages it as many people as possible, right? And yeah, he wants to introduce it to other folks, and he wants the folks like you that get on to introduce it to other folks. And that's that, that's what's cool about you know what he's doing. He's just trying to help people, and that's what yeah. you're trying to do, especially those yeah. you work with. Yeah, well, and I mean, you know, at the end of the day, that makes us all better. You know, I mean, personally, professionally, you know, and you know, at work. You got somebody that's willing to invest the time and the money into you to get better. Why would you not take it? Yeah. You no, know, it's, it's, it's there. So, so, so tell me, what was it like when you, when you first dove, you dove in, like you, you went four hours on the podcast right off the yeah. bat. Like you, you, that's like cliff diving. You didn't just <laughs> stick your toe in the water. You went off the cliff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, it kind of was. <laughs> did you My start wife, at the beginning, like number one and just start going or did you, um, you get going? You remember? I, I think where I started, I got to remember what episode that was that you gave your number, but I I listened to a couple and I don't remember which ones they were. And then I think I went straight to the 30 traits, you know, those, those 30 episodes. Okay. And I might've um, been in there. I might've been doing that. I can't remember. If yeah. I, I, and I really don't remember either. Um, but you know, I've, I've listened to almost all of them. Wow. All of your podcasts. I don't know if I got quite all of them. I'm not um, Josh Davis dedicated as far as that goes, but you know, he's, he's been making laps. He done went through yeah. all of them a couple of times. Yeah. But no, I, I need to do better. I just, I try and I've been trying to um, reach out to some other podcasts just to hear some safety stuff. You know, when I'm out riding my bicycle and getting my exercise in, you know, I try and broaden the horizons on the safety side of things being that's where I'm at now, but I, I still get over and listen to some, leadership podcast too. So yep. I got, I got to divert for a minute. You talking about riding a bicycle, you ride road bikes or mountain bike? Uh, mountain bike. I actually started, I was running for a long time and then, um, you know, I, I ran a, they call it the market to market here in Nebraska. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but yeah. they run from Omaha to Lincoln and you have a team and you got to run certain legs. And that next morning I woke up and I got out of my camper to get outside and I about fell out instead of walking out and you know, I kind of retired the running legs after that and tried to <laughs> try. I need to get more exercise. So I just started pedaling the bicycle. And so I try and ride anywhere from five to 10 miles at a time when I do it. That's you know, good. Three, four That's, times you guys got some trails out there? Uh, gravel roads. Okay. That ain't That's near right. fun as a trail, but it's, it's, yeah. it's better than riding a road bike on the street to me. I don't yeah. want to get ran over by somebody who ain't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had to kind of, I, I wear high vis and everything else when I go. So I'm okay. pretty aware of traffic so I don't get run over. Yeah, that, that's cool, man. So so you had been working with a city and it's, it's the city of Grand Island is, is that yep. where you live. Yep. That's, you live there and work there. Yep. yep. So you've been working there how long before you discovered leadership and started oh. investing in development for yourself? I think, uh, so this year I'm at about 14 and a half years. So if we say round number 13 years before. I okay. So, so a lot of people knew you, you knew a lot of yep. people and yep. then all of a sudden something happened to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like me when I was going through this, cause deep as you got into it, you, people know something changing about you. Can you right. share any of that with me? Yeah, like, I, you... I think, I, I think the best way to simplify that, um, coworkers, my wife, they all kind of looked at me and kind of wondered what was wrong with me, I think, for a while, because, you know, I'd referenced some stuff in the book and everything else. And, you know, it, it, but it, it's good because, you know, I went straight to the people that felt like would listen and and we we could get the book study going. And they did. And they said, have at it. You know, if that's what you want to do, let's let's get it going. And so we take, you know, a half hour every Wednesday and go through it and go on with it. And, you know, so it's yeah, it's. It, it was good. I, I, I don't regret anything about the journey I've had thus far. Yeah. Um, only, only regret I have is not discovering it a little bit earlier, I think. So I, I think we all have that one. So yeah. that's cool though, because that's, that's the important thing. I mean, it's one reason that I'm so proud of, of you and people like you that are growing and, and, and myself and Rio, all, all of us, we're, we're going to impact people. Like I was, I just interviewed Carlos Cody. His comes mm -hmm. out, you know, this Friday, which would be last Friday by the time this would come yep. out. But, but I was talking to him 
and and he's got a little boy and uh, he's already got a teenage nephew that they've kind of adopted and he's been taking him through some of my books, doing book studies, but they just had a little boy, him and his wife, and he's a couple years old. And, and I told him, I said, do you know about happy kids, seven habits for happy kids from Covey? And he didn't know about it, but it's a big book, you know, a big yep. picture book. And, and so he's, you know, because I got started and then I met coach Carlos and, and, and he got going and then now he's going to introduce it to his kid, you know, at yeah. two, three years old. And, that child's life will be completely different and the relationship between Carlos and his kid. And that's the thing that I'm doing. You're doing real yeah. doing. You're, you're introducing people that you don't know how it's going to change their life and impact their family sure. in the future. And, you know, and that's good to know. Cause I don't think I knew about the picture book. Um, you know, I got a four year old, eight year old. There you go. That'd be you a good one to start. Um, I actually have a 14 year old and 17 year old as well. And we kind of made the track to starting into the teen version of seven habits. Yeah. And I kind of flopped on that one with kids events and everything else. We just got busy and, you know, there's no lack of excuses and there shouldn't be an excuse, but um, you know, that's, that's something I need to get back into with them too. But yeah, no, that's, that's good to know for the, the younger kids too, that there's a picture book out there. Yeah. I mean, it's a, you know, it's for like six year old or five year old, something little kids, yeah. but I, I was telling Carlos, there was there was a maintenance guy who called me one day after I had introduced him to that book later on. He called me. I don't remember how long it was after that, but I was in the garage and he called me, man. He was in tears talking about that book. He said, man, yeah. he was just thanking me for introducing him to that book. Cause he, he introduced it to his, I think it was his grandson or granddaughter. I think it was a grandson. Yeah. And he just talked about how much it helped the little, yeah. the little guy helped the little kid. And, but it also helped their relationship. And he was just, he was literally in tears, man. Hardcore, hard nose, blue collar maintenance guy. And that's awesome though. It is. That's good. So, so, so yeah. make sure you get that one. And, uh, I will, and, and then, I got a long list going, but <laughs> yeah, you ain't got a long list though for the little, little guy. Or no, the no, I know you're right. Yep. You say it was a son or a daughter. No, I got a daughter, the youngest four is year a daughter. Old. And then I four year old daughter and an eight year old son. Yeah. So you only got one on that list maybe for the four year old. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so that's good at least. But. Yeah, man. So, so yeah, check that out. And then let me know, like I asked yeah. Carlos, let me know. So, so then I can share with other people, but Definitely. you'll know too. Then when you're doing these book studies, you can yeah. share. And it's just another way you'd add value to, to, to your groups. So yeah. what did they think? And and be honest, cause I want people to, to know the, the truth, how this works. So when you first, what was, what did, how did you get it going? And let me say this first, Brandon, for anybody listening. Yep. How many people were reporting to you when you started that book study? Zero. Zero. And that's, I couldn't remember if anybody was reporting no. to you or not. So you were, no. you were doing your thing and, and yep. you got into this and, and then you were doing what I was teaching people to do. You're leading yep. yourself well, trying to leverage your influence with, within the city. And yep. you were not anybody's boss or nothing yep. like that. And, and, and you had the courage to, and I think I probably shared with you about the podcast from uh, uh, Justin Galloway, I think, where he was a maintenance guy. I think and so. He he, he got so. hungry and he started just doing it. Yep. He did have a team of five or six people reporting to him, but you didn't have anybody reporting no. to you. So so t tell me some details. Like, well, how did that, how did it work when you start? Like, you got to get somebody to do it. You got to talk somebody into it. You just yeah. can't say, hey, I'm doing a book study. All, all y'all just come show up and yeah. make it happen. Tell, tell no, me some details. I, I, I'm curious. I, I, think, I think to start, I probably went too big. <laughs> I, I went straight to our city administrator and kind of said, Hey, here's what I want to do. And, um, you know, then I kind of scaled it back back and, um, just went to our department director for the area I was in and, you know, told him what I wanted to do. And he's like, yeah, that's fine. Order the books. We'll sit down and do it. And, you know, you kind of hear some grumblings, you know, there was, I, I talked to you about the group size on that one, you know, cause it was a little bit on the the hefty side, I think we were pushing 12 people on that one. And you said, yeah, you could probably do it, but it, you know, we don't go any more than that. And, and, you know, we did that and you hear some grumblings from some guys that you're starting it and now oh, we don't want to listen to it. Cause I did the same thing kind of Jason does through the audio book out, yep. you know, and everybody has their copy and they highlight and have they a got chance the hard to talk. Copy and, yep. And then got you the hard copy. audio. Yep. 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 And we did that. And, you know, I think the first, probably five or six episodes there probably wasn't a whole lot of interaction you know it was me saying what i thought about it and 
they kind of died there, which is fine. You know, they, they heard the content and everything else. And yeah, that's the main thing. And, you know, and then we started that one and I think we were three chapters in and then, um, one of our other departments, they have enough to do two groups. So we said, we're going to do it over there. So we split and into two groups over there and I would do back to back sessions over there too. Hey, let, me, let me make sure everybody's guys. clear and I'm clear. When you said we'll do it over there, that means you volunteered to do it over there. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I said I will come over and I will facilitate two book studies over in the other department if that's okay with, you know, the leadership. Wow, that's that we awesome, had. And, did you know those people or you didn't even yeah, know them or you did? Yeah, no, we, we still interact with them on a daily basis. And okay, I knew them. And, um, you know, the response over there was great, too. You know, we had great interaction you know, a lot of comments, a lot of feedback from over there. And that was good. So, you know, cause we got a lot of younger guys over there too, that, you know, when I say younger, I'm talking, you know, mid to mid to late twenties and, you know, they're, they're getting into their careers and, yep. you know, so it's good to expose them while they're younger and they can pick up on it a lot earlier and hopefully, you know, make their journey a little simpler than mine starting out at about 40, you know? So, yeah. Wow. That's, that's awesome. So how did it, how did it go through the, you know, full 30? You went through the 30 chapters, yep. all the 30 traits. You finished that one now, right? Because you're saying you're about to start another one. Yeah, yeah. We 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 st um, we finished that probably two weeks ago. And we just got our workload right now is a little bit heavy. So we're kind of taking a little. I'm going to try and keep it at a month break. And then yep. um, I'm going to order the books up for the next one. And we'll start on the next one. That's awesome. Are you going to order them direct from me or off Amazon? Yes. Nope. Direct from you. If you can give me a, a little bit of warning, how yep. many are you going to need so I can make sure I got them, I can get them signed for you. Okay. So we keep usually about 20 to 25, but it doesn't mean I always have that many. So if sure. you can give me a little bit of notice. Okay. If you ain't yep. in a rush where I know I can go ahead and make sure I got those ordered sure. in. and they'd be Yeah, ready. no, I'll, I'll, I'll be in touch with you here this week on that. And we might put the order in next week or something, but I'll let you know for sure. Okay. You got any rough idea how many it might be? Oh, 50, somewhere in there. About Not 50. quite 50, probably okay. 40, 45. Yeah, I need to, I need to, I'll put in an order. It'll take, usually okay. comes within two weeks. For, okay. For me, two to three weeks when I order. But yep. I'll, I'll go ahead and order them this evening when we get done doing okay. this. So that's, yeah. So I got, um, so we got through those, you know, we started those probably the first of the year, the book studies. And then, um, once we started in the other two or the other department with the two individual sessions, um, the leadership over there, he had made a comment that we used to get these little pamphlets with some leadership content in it and we don't get those anymore. And he kind of, he's like, Hey, you know, is there anything we can do with kind of a, a drip type thing? And, um, I said, well, as a matter of fact, uh, um, I have some toolbox tips books that, um, has your short content in it, you know, the, the summarized yeah. versions and, 45 or 60 those. second version. What's that? You can read what you can read those two pages. You can read a tip in like 45 to 60 seconds, even oh, though it yeah. ain't really meant to be read like a book. It's meant to sure. you know, share once a day, once a week or something like yeah. that. Right. You know, and, and that's what, you know, I had contacted you first to make sure that was, I said, Hey, you know, I, this is kind of what we're looking at. We want to make like a little newsletter that we send out once a week. And, um, you know, and we, how could I say no to Brandon after <laughs> he's doing all of this stuff? No, man, you got to make it happen. Well, you, make you know, it happen. I wanted to make sure there was no copyright issues or anything else with content and everything else. And, um, you know, we had a team here that kind of helped develop a good newsletter, how it lit the layout and everything else. And um, we just put that content in it. And then we I go in weekly and type up a new one. And then I put in the link to that relating podcast for that chapter or that that summary of that of that toolbox tip and then they yep. can go on and you know we got a link to your website that they can see what you and Rhea are about and what you guys are doing and um you know it gives them a link to the podcast and they can listen to some further content to help them grow that way yeah I mean, that's a that's a good win-win you just you are tearing it up brandon you just no, doing something we're I trying you on this you know, show, man. It's I got a long ways to go personally and professionally as far as development goes, but you know, one day at a time we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. The, you know, the Covey, I think it was the, the president or the president's staff of South Korea when Covey was over there. And at some point he was teaching, you know, the president and his staff leadership development, Stephen Covey, the author of the seven habits. And yep. 
they ask him how how do you how do you know you really value this stuff and he said because whenever i slip i always go back to it right yeah. we, none of us are going to be perfect and we all are going i say always going to be under construction right yep you know people who don't understand what this is really all about the personal development stuff like jason jason mentioned it the other day on his his call people don't need to get on there and judge everybody else that ain't what personal growth is about that's right. why it's called personal growth yeah <laughs> I need to go soak up this stuff, figure out how I need to apply it and how I need to get better in my life. So what was the, what was the last 10 chapters of, of the, the teamwork book like compared to the first 10 chapters, you know, the, the after people were used to it and y'all were going through what was really different about it. Oh, oh, I think, I mean, I think as we went on, the, the best part was, is there was more interaction, you know, you, you got a few more comments here and there and, and everything else. And, and, you know, there's, there's, there's the people that didn't comment at all and and that's okay but yeah. as it went on there was more interaction and i think that was the best part of it now i'm hoping going to the next book we get more interaction you know there's there's more people wanting to speak what they you know i guess i set my expectation a little too high because of jason's you know he, he gets a lot of people talking and a lot of you know a lot of input and a lot of people willing to share personally you yeah. know, and, and a lot of people don't like to do that, you know, and, and, and I think I've kind of hit that wall here that a lot of people don't want to open up totally, which is fine. But, you know, the best part is through that whole thing was I got to share for me personally what that relates yeah. to me. Yeah. You know, and, and, and saying that to an outward effect to other people, I think that that had an impact on me as well. Just just, you know, hearing it through my voice to other people, you know, I think that that kind of related with me even a little bit yeah. more as far as what I need to do better and, and, and the road that I need to choose to get there. Yeah. So, yeah. So would it be possible? I don't know how long y'all have for these things. Would, would, would it be possible before you start that next book study? Would it be possible with each team to, to, to watch that video training? It's 45 minutes. Would you be able to do that or would you chop yeah. it up into pieces? Um, I think we could probably do the whole one. If not, we could do half and half. So, I mean, that, that maybe be a possibility too. I'll, I'll have to look at it. I'll, I'll go out and, um, tomorrow, you know, I'll, I'll log on and, you know, check that video out and, and see what it's about. And, you know, just, yeah, I think it's a very good possibility. And, and, and if that helps, I'm more than happy to do that. Yeah. It'd be, if you'd follow that format, you'd probably, especially with the front lines book, because it is more reflect, you know, look yep. in the mirror and how do I lead myself? Well, it, it'd be a perfect way to, to shift into a completely kind of different gear. But, sure. but if, if you'll do it like that, like we teach in that video, yep. you it, it'll be different. It, it'd yeah. probably be what you were wanting it to be. And okay. Jason, Jason can't do like that because it's too many people, you know, sure. on his call, but in a way they kind of do in a hybrid probably version of kind of what you did versus kind of what I'm teaching. But if you'll literally uh -huh. go do, do that and it'll be easier if you decide to do it that way, it'll be easier for you if they'll watch it. Cause then, then you're training them how to be a facilitator. So then you got a team of facilitators sure. trying to make sure this thing goes right. And we all know why we're doing it this way. The people are not thinking Brandon's crazy for saying this <laughs> the way he's saying it or, or just yeah. saying, thank you, no matter what I say and you know, all that kind of stuff. But if you can get them to watch it, it and just say, Hey, let's experiment. Let's, let's do it this way for okay. this book and see People still may not talk, but the ones who talk, if they'll do it that way, and especially you as a facilitator, yep. If you if you'll do that inward kind of talk from humility and vulnerability and make it really personal, yep. like we teach, you'll inspire other people to do that. And I mean, we we went into electrical construction company one time, and we were just teaching them how to do it, and we only went through two chapters, and and they was like, these are hardcore blue collar, you know, electrical <laughs> construction guys. Yeah. And, and somebody, they was somebody in tears. Usually when you do that, right. Right. Meaning you follow the principle and the method. It just affects people emotionally because it's a, it's a completely different thing than a, what, what you may have done is what I typically call probably more of a book discussion where you're just trying to talk about it. And, mm -hmm. and that's fine too. That's far better than nothing. But the way we teach in that video is it's intended. That method is purely to help you transform yourself and you as a facilitator to 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 kind of facilitate transformation within others by sticking to that method but it, anyway you might want to try that okay it'll yeah. go real good with with that book but really it worked with any book but any kind of book that's looking really in the mirror 
Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll definitely give that a shot. Well, that's that's cool. So I'm ex- I'm excited for for you to go yeah. do that. So can you share any? Does I mean you work there? You said 13, 14 years yep. now. Does is it is anything different? I mean, is it, y'all are still doing it, so I assume there's some kind yeah. of results coming from it. Is the teams work better? Or y'all talk better? Or what? What's yeah, that? I I think overall, I think uh, communications probably a little bit better. Um, teamwork, you know, that's sometimes that's always a work in progress. You know, you got different personalities and everything else there, but yep. you know, that's that's my main reason for doing this is trying to get people to look in the mirror and excuse me, find that team synergy. And, you know, just working together and, and, and doing those habits and, you know, look in the mirror and what, what, what can I do better? Or, you know, how can I help this person get better? You know, and, and you know, we're there for one another, yep. you know, it, you know, everything goes better when, when we work together as a team and, you know, we got good morals and values and everything else. And, you know, we're, we're, we're there to get the same common goal. Yep. So how has, so that's kind of the big, the whole team picture, how it's actually helping you guys. And, and, and you didn't mention it, but I guarantee you, you guys have some better relationships than you had without doing these. Because somehow it just facilitates relationship yeah. building. You agree? Yeah, I think so. I think I think you take that. I'm going to give around number 15 minutes. You know, you take that amount of time. You know, you listen to the audible. You have your discussion if you need to have it, you know. And, um, you know, I think just getting people together and sitting there for that 15 minutes and listening to it. And you're all hearing the content together and then you hear what a couple of people had to say about it. Yeah. You know, I, I think, I think overall you probably do mesh a little bit better and have better relationships with each other through it all. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and the, and the way that we teach in that video, it definitely causes that to happen because sure. people start sharing like personal stuff Yeah, because they feel safe and that's, it's a completely just different method. But so how has it impacted you individually working with all these people at home, customers, suppliers, other departments, how, how has your, so you got a year, a little over a year under yeah. your belt. What, how has it changed you I or think, impacted you? I think it's helped. Um, personally, I feel that it's helped me with, um, some networking, um, you know, relationship building, you know, cause you look, you look at yourself and okay, you know, I act this way or I do this, this way that doesn't work. You know, you, you don't work well with people when you act like that or you treat people a certain way, you know? So overall, I think just, just digging deep into your internal self and, and finding those faults and yeah. growing from those faults and learning, you know, that's, that's what it's about. And I think that's helped me overall personally and professionally, you know, get to where I am. You know, I think that's helped me tremendously in, in where I need to be, you know, I'm not where I want to be yet personally, professionally, maybe I think I'm making the right, right steps in that direction but personally you know i got a lot of growth to go and i'm here for it so. yeah that's that, that's good man so so what's been oh well, let me just say this for, for you and, and I, we probably talked about it and you probably know but just for anybody watching and listening also just want to kind of give them you've been talking about the front lines book the team teamwork book mm-hmm. and and you went through the teamwork book first and then took yep. the team through it. But you said, maybe I should have started on the other one first. So let me just, let me just help people and you maybe have a little overview, just a high level overview of those two books. So the, the teamwork book, actually I'm going to talk about the front lines book. Cause I always do recommend people go through that first, but not if they gung ho about the other book like you were. So yeah. I said, go do that. Whatever you gung ho, go do that. Cause sure. you'll make it happen. Right. That's, that's why that was important. You need to yep. make it happen. But when, now that you understand and in the future, the, the blue collar leadership leading from the front lines. It's all about how do I lead myself? Well, which means how do I become a high impact individual? How do I become a sought after employee of choice? The kind that people want to hire, people want to promote, people want to steal me away. And it's all relative to, to helping me increase my influence 360 degrees by how I'm leading myself just as an individual. So it's kind of like, you know, I tell people that's kind of the foundational work. I got to learn. I got to understand that everything I'm about to learn and do, I want to do it to increase my influence. And also I, I want to increase my influence because then I increase my options and life's better with more options. Definitely. And, and so that's kind of that foundational book. And then the teamwork book, blue collar leadership and teamwork, 30 traits of high impact players. That book is, 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 is how do I become a high impact team player? 
Rhea and I talk about the teamwork dilemma. Team play team team members are not always team players, yeah. right? And and that's what that book, but that book is much more effective if you've got the foundation of yeah. of the front lines book. You still, yeah. as you know, you can go through the teamwork book without ever having done the other book and still get a lot of value out of it. Sure. But if you're doing it on purpose, you're learning how to be a high impact individual, then you learn how to be a high impact team player, and then blue collar leadership and supervision unleash your team's potential. Yep. If I got high impact individuals and high impact team players, if I want to keep them, I got to become a high impact leader yep. to be able to, to, to lead these people in the kind of way that they, they're going to be required to be led because when you understand about that now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and I think, you know, I, I do think that is a little bit of regret I have is not starting there, you know, cause I went out and bought the 30 traits first. Cause that's what, I had heard on your podcast, you know, yep. and then, and, you know, and then after going out and buying the leading from the front lines, you know, it's, it, it, yeah, it's definitely a should have started at that level first. And, you know, and I think my thought process was starting with 30 traits with my, with our coworkers here and our team here was how can we be better together? Yeah. Yep. You know, and, and I do regret that a little bit because it, it, you know, the foundation needs to happen first. So that's, you know, if I had to do it over again, I would start with the leading from the front lines and, and go. And now there. you understand, but don't beat yeah. yourself up about it. Yeah, no. Yeah, definitely. But you know, it's just, it's just one of those that I, I really do wish I would have started there first because that's more foundational after going through it. So. And, and, and Brandon, I talked to a lot of people who are, have not done any of it and I recommend, you know, what I just told you, those yeah. three in that order, front lines, teamwork, yep. supervision. And, and then they still go start with supervision. <laughs> <laughs> you know and that i think that'll be the, i do have the supervision book too and you know that's probably going to be the third book as long as they let me keep doing it here you know and that's that's my goal is to just keep grinding away on leadership content and getting better about it but you know i'm actually just going to start i think i'm finishing up the book i'm on james clear and i think after that I'm going to rehit the um, leader leading from the front lines book because it's been about a year since I read it. So, okay, got to go back up and brush up on the skills again. So, yeah, see what yeah, I'm that's, doing quite right. So, yeah, there's uh, I can't remember somebody I interviewed. Uh, oh, Justin Poss. I don't know if you saw his, his interview just one, came no. out actually uh, Friday. It's really, really he's sharp. He's he's he works at Chobani uh, Yogurt. Okay. You ever heard of them? Yep. Yep. About 1,200 people. He's a director of manufacturing there. He discovered oh, wow. my stuff three or four years before 2022. And then he reached out to me in 2022. And and he's like, I've been through the frontline book like 100 times. He he takes <laughs> multiple people through it individually. Yep. They go through it. And, but he's he's just funny to talk about, like you said, go back through it. And yeah. he, he rattles off them things like I do the seven habits. I, I don't even, he knows my book better than I know my book because <laughs> I didn't study my books to transform my life, but I did the seven habits that sure. way. Right. And so it's yeah. just cool to, you know, meet people who know my podcast and my books. Like I know other people's stuff yeah. that, that impacted me. And so I need to get there. You know, that's my, that's my goal is to get back and get these read better. And you know, I, you know, I read it and then I go to the next content and then, oh, well, what, what, how did that pertain to me, you know, in the last book and kind of forget as you go. And it's good to go back up and brush on the, the content again and find those gold nuggets and, and hold on to those and just keep refreshing. So Yeah, you, you'll have, absolutely, you'll see things different. If, you know, if you read it today and you read it tomorrow, ain't nothing going to be different. But if you read it today and you read it six months from now or next year or again, you're going to see it completely different if you've been growing because you're completely yeah. different. You know, if, sure. if you just read it, nothing changed, you read it again, probably nothing going to be much different. Yeah. Unless yeah. Unless you are going through some stuff in your life at the moment that might cause you to, you know, see things different or sure. if you've had something to, to happen. Yeah. But yeah. When you, when you, when you learn that all this stuff is to just help you increase your influence, that's, I mean, that's, when, when people really understand that, most everybody will buy into that if they understand that. Because everybody wants more influence. They know their life yeah. will be better. It'll be better at home. It'll be better at work. It'll be better in traffic. <laughs> it don't matter where you're at. If, if you get pulled over for a speed ticket, it don't make any difference. <laughs> the more influence you have, better your life's going to be, right? Yeah. It doesn't make any difference. And when people really can understand that, they buy in on their own. They don't need anybody to, to, to help them buy in. Yeah. 
so have you're going through you've been going through with Jason on the Ria's book, The Ladder of Influence. Yep. I did miss um quite a bit of the summer okay. with vacations and then kids' activities and yep. I I, th I thought I was gonna make the clear on this last one and um I forgot about a softball game that I had to attend. So I, I got most of the most of the content in and then I had to bail a little bit early, but Okay. Yeah, That's probably yeah. why he didn't call on you. I was like, wonder he must have yeah. saw Brandon's name because I saw your name early and I knew you were on the call. And I was like, yeah. he didn't call Brandon, but he no. it's a lot of people. A lot of times he can't yeah. keep up. Yeah, but, definitely. Yeah. So that book, you said you had some teenagers, right? Yeah. So I don't know if you were, heard me talk, but I, I tell everybody to me that book, uh, uh, a, a teenager in high school, that they ought to have to graduate for the, I mean, they ought to have to read that book before they can graduate because it paints the, the big picture, you know, climbing that ladder of yeah. control of self, character development, competency development, you know, and developing others and then doing it for a lifetime. But it's just a big picture. But it, it'd be a really good introduction for really for seniors, seniors. Sure. but any high school age kids could go through that. So, if, yeah, you might yeah no, that, and that book's full of good stuff. I mean, that, you know, the last three chapters he covered, you know, I missed. I read it previously prior to Jason's um leadership drip but um i missed the last half of 30 this last weekend but you know it's it's holding yourself accountable and everything else and you know it's it's all those you know growth is a the byproduct of failure you know and it, it, you don't give up you just got to keep getting up and keep going and you know that's that's what it's about and and that's the the te the latter book is great i mean there's a lot of good stuff in that one yeah so I just got to brag on you some more, man, before we wrap up here. We got a little more time. Do you, do you have a certain time you got to stop by? No, no, no. Nope. So we usually try to keep them at an hour or less, but, sure. but sometimes we go over, it gets going good. Sometimes yeah. at the end, for some reason, we just keep going. People don't want to watch it. They can turn it off, right? <laughs> yeah. But, man, I lost my thought. Uh, what was I about to ask you? Oh, what I wanted to say was brag on you because any, anybody out there listening, I think there's, there are so many leaders that I meet, Brandon, I mean, formal authority leaders, sometimes high level leaders, but sometimes they're entry level leaders, you know, team leaders or frontline supervisors, but sometimes they middle management, upper management, sometimes they the owners, the CEO. But I meet so many leaders who ain't never done what you've been doing ever, yeah, ever. And they've been, that's why, I'm, I mean, I got chills right now thinking about what you started doing as a, as a, as a frontline entry level person, nobody reporting to you, right? Yep. You, nobody. Zero. That is so awesome. You don't even know if you don't stop this, you know, the city probably won't stop you as long as you're doing it because you're passionate <laughs> about it. You're getting results. Yeah. Right. And, and you're going to just get better and better. But even if they did, you as a person, I don't think will stop. You know, you may no. take little breaks. People take breaks yeah. and then they get back on it. But I don't I don't think you could ever. I don't think anybody can go through it as much as you have and, and just like forget about it for the rest yeah. of their life. I, I ain't seen nobody do that. Yet. Yeah. I see people who get a little interested and they fall off a wagon and they don't ever yep. jump back on, but I don't see people who really dive into it. So you don't even know, man, what your future's going to hold. You don't even know the lives you're going to impact. Some people won't ever tell you, you may have, you may help people stay married and you may, they may not ever tell you they was having problems and they fixed it and they give credit to, to you in the book and all. You, sure. you won't ever know, but sometimes you will know. I, I mean, I've heard those kind of yeah. stories. There'll be people who, rebuild their relationships with their children, just like I did with, with my son. Yep. And, you know, I, I wrote Covey a letter before he died and hopefully he got it. And I was supposed to get to meet him. Me and my son, Eric, we're going to get to meet Dr. Covey. And then it, he had a, uh, uh, I think it was a mountain bike. He had a wreck and he had on a helmet, hit his head, got a concussion. And then he never really recovered wow. from it and passed away. So we didn't ever get to meet him, but yeah, hopefully he got to read it and, yeah. and hear the impact we had, but everybody don't tell you, right. but that's the kind of stuff. That's that's where your passion and energy. Yeah. You know, it could be your kids. It could be it could be your 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 four year old that you start into this. And she, she she could be one of those people that she will have a completely different life and you won't ever know it because you won't know the life she had yeah. that you now start reading these books, right? Your relationship with her, your other children, your spouse, all that stuff. Yeah. That, that's it's just so powerful, man. And you're just modeling it. And you started modeling it from the front line and you you had the courage to go and, and do it. And then you had the courage to expand it. And other people have an interest. Who knows you in the safety the coordinator role, you're in the yep. safety coordinator. So you're interacting with a lot of people in yep. a lot of different ways. And 
you never know where your influence may go with, with this right. stuff. I'm just proud of you, man. That's that's what I want you to know personally. I am well, so thank you. proud of you because I mean, so many leaders who won't do this. They, they, yeah, they won't do it, and they won't let anybody else do it. And you just made yeah. it happen. You know, and, and we did. And I failed to mention, you know, our leadership drip email that we started. Um, that actually expanded out to our police department and our library staff as well. You know, they, they made comments that they wanted to see it happen. And, and that's, and we did, you know, that's we, so awesome. <laughs> we had the authority just to go ahead. And so I send it to those guys every Monday morning as well, along with ours. And, and that's what we're doing. And, you know, and I'm hoping, you know, I, I like I said, I kind of went fast on the leadership drip thing like Jason Denham does, you know, because at the end of the day, I'd like to see this city wide and yeah. have the employees and their families join in on those calls. Um, kind of had to slow down a little bit on that. I was going a little too fast for, my, you know, my brain was going one direction and the feet were going another and I had to you slow down a little bit. But, um, you know, that's my end goal. You know, I, I would like to see that here and, and hope a lot of people can jump on board with that and and help themselves and help their families and help one another get better so yep and i'd also like to take a minute just because maybe some of your leaders probably going to watch this i imagine when you tell them you, you were out but i, I want to just i don't know them but i'd like to thank them for allowing you to do all this because it, it's all you're trying to do is help people have a better life at working at home yeah and and from a cultural standpoint a high level standpoint for the city itself you help people have a better life at home and at work you can't hardly run those folks off yeah when, when, when the leaders and you're building that team and, and you're getting support from the top. So it ain't just you anymore. Right. It's right. You know, as I always say, it, it starts with me, but it ain't about me. Yeah. Right. It started with you, but it ain't about you. This yep. about what you're trying to do as, as a whole for the city. And, and I just want to thank those people because you could have read the books, you could listen to the podcast, but you couldn't do what you're doing in that city unless somebody gave you the okay on it. Yeah. And exactly. That person may have had courage to do it because you don't ever know you know, all the politics yep. and stuff in any organization, not just a city, but in a regular organization, there's, there's always these internal politics and stuff going on, but they believed in you, man. They turned you loose. They, they value in the people they're investing in the people and, and make sure you probably do communicate that, but always make sure that, you know, the folks are, I guess they're getting paid to be there while you're doing that on the clock. I guess they, they're yep. getting the book that you got, you know, people they're investing don't don't miss that point that you got leaders in this city who are investing in you as people because what you're doing, what the city is doing, allowing you to do, they're doing far more than is required because this is not required. No, in most places. <laughs> yep. And, and this that's is the above sure. and beyond part, but that's where they get they get that return on that investment because it's it's not something they have to do. So then it's yeah. seen as something that they don't have to do. These people actually care about us, especially when you start to feel it right so yeah you, you should be proud man and be 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 proud of those those leaders and, and they should be proud and you guys still just getting warmed up you just yeah a, a, a year into it and i would just say you know if you guys ever do grow enough where y'all do a big book order and have us yep. come out to speak you may you, you may want to start that one out as a thing for the like a employee appreciation kind of day and yeah and, and we would just be a, a small piece of it and i ain't I ain't even talked to you about that. I just know y'all are growing and you might go yeah. in that direction. But if you did an employer appreciation kind of day and y'all has to serve some food or grill some food, cook out yeah. some food and they bring their, their families there. And then, cause we saw that with Jason, when we spoke, we speak pretty much every year we go out there yeah. in December and uh, he, uh, so sometimes the spouses get more into it than, than the <laughs> folks who work there. And then they end up, the spouses are the one with the influence and right. you get the husband and the wife on board and, and, and yep. the kids, maybe teenage kids. And mm -hmm. that, that's just an option. If you guys ever do that, that's something you could, you could think about. Most companies are not going to mm -hmm. do that. They're not going to use right. a, you know, for that purpose. They ain't got that vision yet, but I just wanted to share it here with you and potentially your leaders. If they watch it, it's a way to, to, to add value in a way it's kind of a soft introduction instead of like this is who we are this is where we're going and you got to go do this just kind of throw it out there a big blanket deal and yep see see what happens yeah no yeah. that's uh and that's definitely something i i've been trying to get um i shouldn't say i've been trying to get i've been wanting to get you guys out here i um it's on my radar to do um 
kind of an extra other couple strings I got to pull to make that happen. But that's uh, working on it. <laughs> that, that's definitely that's in my end goal to have you guys here as well. So that's and and, and for you and anybody listening, the, the value of that is a lot of times when we come in a room, we tell stories, especially our personal stories. Yeah. So a lot of people kind of connect with us on a different level because then then when they hear the book, they're hearing me talk about, it. they know where yeah. I come from. They know real story. They know where she come from. They, yep. it, it just, when, when we're in a room with people, it's just different. And definitely what you guys are doing is phenomenal. A lot of people do that. They don't ever have us in the room. They just go do book studies. And then sometimes they grow their way into having us in and they, they kind of say what you did about the book. Oh man, we should have did this first, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but live and learn. Hindsight's easy, right? But you yeah. are learning. So in the yeah. future, as you grow, there's, there's no telling what you might be the mayor of the city administrator <laughs> one day, man, who knows? No, no, I'm, I'm good where I'm at. <laughs> you don't ever know, man, just yeah. all kind of growth can happen. Yeah. You got anything else? Uh, uh I don't think I, I, I just want to say I appreciate you and Rhea's time, you know, taking the time to to sit down and talk to me and let me share my story. And, you know, I think it's a great thing what you guys are doing. And as far as uh, real people getting real results, you know, all those interviews and, you know, all the podcasts you guys put out and the great content and the books you guys put out and, you know, getting out and sharing your guys' story. And it's great because that's what people relate to. So I, I appreciate that. That's all outstanding, man. You got any advice for, for somebody who's maybe hearing this and don't they really they maybe ain't never read the books ain't listened to the podcast somehow they just yep. maybe somebody you introduce it to or they share it and then they hear it because of you what from a personal growth standpoint why why should they even be interested why should it why should it matter like their life's good income's good the family's good yep. all that stuff um because I, I i think you don't know how much better it could be oh you know just just pick, just pick it up pick it up listen to it read it you know, watch it, whatever you got to do, just do it and, and grow yourself and, and get involved with the content and really let it hit home with you and, and self-reflect and, you know, see what you need to do as an individual to get better and then to help everybody around you be better people too. So that's, that's probably my advice. Just go do it. That's, that's a good answer though. How much better could it be? You know, same thing yeah. as what you're leaving on the table because you don't know what you don't know till you start diving in. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So I just want to share, Rhea just popped up the link for anybody listening. You can go read hundreds of hundred plus pages of our content. Go to bluecollarleadership.com forward slash download. Anybody out there listening, you ain't got to spend any money. You ain't got to put in an email. You ain't got to subscribe to nothing. Just go to bluecollarleadership.com forward slash download. And you can preview a lot of my books. And then also there's a link to go preview a lot of Rhea's books. If you don't know about this stuff, you don't want to spend your money because I don't know if I'm going to like it. Just go dive into it right there. You can read 100 plus pages from multiple books and you'll get an idea if, if you want to start investing in yourself. And also, I think Rio shared the uh, Blue Collar Leadership uh, special offer. Just want to tell people we're planning to change that at the end of the year. Anybody out there listening who's maybe been thinking about bringing us in, the, the current special offer is 300 books for $5,400, which is actually the cost of the books. We'll pay all our expenses. We'll come out for speak up to two hours anywhere in the 50 states and 2024 we're going to make that it's going to be uh it's going to be 7400 dollars. you still get the 300 books and then you also get a, a one month subscription to our all access online uh, video training courses right now we got that on seven books so there's about a seven and a half hour video course on each book so just want to share that with anybody who's listening don't want it to be a surprise to you when, when our special offer changes, we, this will be the third or fourth uh, revision we've had. We change that as time passes. But the reason we're changing that, we're trying to we're trying to help people get results. So so we'll come speak basically kind of for free is the way it ends up. People buy the book. And then now we're saying you got to do the – also you got to – because it's $2,000 for the all-access course for, for a month. And and up to 2,000 people can enroll in that. So when – when you got when you have us come speak, now you got the books. You can do book studies like Brandon's been doing. And then if you want to, people can go through the online course. They got a handout, they can fill in the blanks and have Rhea and I teach it to them. So so it's just like a whole package. And basically you're getting the value in whatever you pay for. So thank thanks everyone for listening. Anything else, Brandon, before I wrap it up? I don't think so. That's all I got. Thank you. 
All right, man. It's been awesome having you on. Thank you for having the courage to come on. Maybe, maybe some other folks will invite you. Rhea, put up your uh, LinkedIn information and you wanted us to share that because if somebody yeah. wants to talk to you about you, if you are inspirational or motivational to them, you, you're happy to reach out to people. Yep. I mean, people that reach out to you, you're good yeah. with that. Yep, definitely. Yep. So, uh, it's uh, linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash Brandon Cluthy. There it is. Rhea just popped it up on the screen. If you're listening, his last name is K-L-U-T-H-E, and it'll be in the in the in the details. So we're gonna wrap it up. Thanks to everyone again. Thanks again, Brandon. I hope you have a great evening out there in Nebraska. And we, we're gonna see you one of these days, even yeah, if it's we will. close by. We're gonna we're we gonna will. see you. All right. All right. All right, folks. Talk to you next time. Make it happen or someone else will. It might as well be you. Are you serious about taking your career and your life to the next level and beyond? Check out Max Story's Blue Collar Leadership Series books and others, now available on audio, along with paperback and ebooks at Amazon and Audible. Please visit bluecollarleadership.com to learn about Max books, programs, special offers, and more. Thank you for listening to the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast.